then by clicking on setup by going to downloads and then downloading the windows agent from here which is 64 bit or 32 bit of the choice then you select the agent that you want to download by clicking this which is 64 bit agent and as you see when you download it you would be able to get that msi package that you can install on either a workstation or on a server now in real life scenarios when you actually start your deployment when you actually start your proof of concept or you try to uh, set up i would advise and that you should have at least a bunch of systems with a variety of at least a couple of workstations and servers so once you do that once you install that on a workstation you know uh, let me quickly show you that once installed how would it actually look like on a computer uh, that you have set up already so as you see this is the first hand view of the agent once it is installed so once the agent is installed there is an icon that will come on the account or on the profile of the user using which there has been installed and you have my credentials here and the instance which is a dedicated instance that we offer in the team edition or the enterprise edition for uh, various needs that you have and then also we specify a group name for mass management classification so once you apply that and hit OK and as you see this is a Windows 10 workstation here that I have and I've set up my agent on once it installs it comes up here in the system section like this and this is the computer that I'm actually trying to manage now now keep that in mind though it appears like that the VM is sitting local to my laptop However, our product architecture is a WAN scale architecture wherein the agent communicates back to the cloud instance and from there on it communicates to the other computers and come back or a WAN TCP 443 and you know it's, it's on TLS so it's pretty secure I would say pretty end to end in terms of giving you secure communication so once you have your agent installed you can manage CPU memory real time do the hardware monitoring and stuff like that. Mm -hmm.